Diddy's legal troubles continue to intensify more than a week after ex Cassie Ventura filed her bombshell lawsuit in a Manhattan federal court. On Saturday, November 26, Diddy's former bodyguard Roger Bonds insisted he was ready to dispel what he witnessed during his time working for the Bad Boy Records mogul. Taking to Instagram, Bonds shared, This is not meant to be threats or snitching or anything like that against Cassie or Diddy or anyone else. This is me telling my truth as I truly remember it for two reasons only, first because I have four daughters so on all dudes my truth as I seen it, saw it and was involved with it for years. He added in the caption, I'm willing to tell my truth because for so many YRS I was quiet. Nothing matters now but family. According to court docs, Ventura claimed Bonds tried to intervene multiple times in an effort to stop Diddy from further physically assaulting her but was unsuccessful. In the car leaving the club, Mr. Combs beat Mississippi Ventura pushing her into a corner of the vehicle and stomping on her face, the docs read in part. Mr. Combs' security staff, Roger Bonds, tried to stop the beating but was unable to de-escalate the situation. When the car arrived at Mr. Combs' residence, Mississippi Ventura attempted to run away, but Mr. Combs followed her and proceeded to again kick her in the face. Mississippi Ventura was bleeding profusely and was ushered into Mr. Combs' home, where she began to throw up from the violent assault. Ventura said she was then forced to stay at a hotel for a week as she healed from her injuries. In another incident, Ventura alleged Diddy once again beat her so badly she had two black eyes, a burst and bruised lip and a huge welt on her forehead. Once Bond saw her, he began to cry due to the brutality of it all. Since Ventura's filing, Two other women have come forward with lawsuits alleging Diddy beat and or sexually assaulted them. Former president of Bad Boy Records, Har Pierre was also sued for sexual assault last week. As for the latest allegations, Diddy's rep said, these are fabricated claims falsely alleging misconduct from over 30 years ago and filed at the last minute. This is nothing but a money grab. Because of Mr. Combs' fame and success, he is an easy target for anonymous accusers who lie without conscience or consequence for financial benefit. Diddy's spokesperson also addressed New York's Adult Survivors Act, which expired Thursday. The act allowed adult survivors of sexual abuse to file claims otherwise barred by the statute of limitations. Diddy has been named in multiple lawsuits filed under the act. The rep added, the New York legislature surely did not intend or expect the Adult Survivors Act to be exploited by scammers. The public should be skeptical and not rush to accept these bogus allegations.